this, my friends, is why I love the weekend. intentions with this vlog are not um, I don't really have like a game plan for this it's like I've kind of brainstormed with some ideas but it's not it's I want to move the screen out of the way because it distracts me I don't really know like what I'm gonna do with this you know I'm just kind of just recording what I want to record really I just want to capture different moments in life. The theme of my vlog is kind of supposed to be funny, but you know, I'm not always like that. And a lot of times, you know, I, I like to be serious and um, this is an example of why I can't do that. You know what, I'm gonna go to a different room. Man, I really need to shave. Let me shave real quick. love this does that make any difference makes me look whiter but you can see me better of course so I think I'll have to go with that so today's Saturday the uh, 25th that is very hard to see oh well just trust me when I say it's the 25th because it is blur that background because that's just what you do to be cool. I need to stop looking at this screen, man. The screen on the side kind of disrupts your uh, ability to, to focus on what you're doing. So I was reading this. This is a In Touch devotional by Charles Stanley. This is something that uh, that I need that I needed to to hear. Finding clear guidance. That is always a problem and always something I've wondered about. Is how do you know, like when you know the Lord is speaking to you and you know what he wants you to do. The thing is, this is Psalm 25, 12. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way he should choose. Now, when I read that, I, I, think, um, I think that it's saying that the person who like respects and and it's, you know, fears the Lord, not in the sense of fear as in terrified or any kind of fear like that, but rather the fear of, of acknowledging his awesomeness, like, and, and understanding who he is and giving glory to him in that way. But also, um, the, the verse says, he will instruct him in the way he should choose. Now, that's, it's obvious that what it's saying is when you serve the Lord and when you give your attention and you give your time and your energy and serve the Lord and worship him through your life then he will instruct you in the way that you so that that shows that he will show you the way when you're seeking him seeking you will find and then knock and the door will be open to you it's a pretty easy concept yet um, I have a hard time applying that to my life with this vlog I wasn't trying to to be totally like 
you know, this this person who gives like, who doesn't live genuinely. You know, there's so many people who are superficial, very obvious on YouTube. I wanted to bring something that was like, it didn't set out to reach one particular demographic. I want to make this vlog something that's great for everybody, but it's not just to make them happy. Am I still in focus? Just to make them content, to make them content with life and make them not want to grow in the Lord, really. I just want to make an impact in people's lives. You know, that first vlog, the one I uploaded, I've been wanting to just upload something for the fun of it, so that's what I did. I want this vlog to push me to go forward as well. You know, a quote that I kind of came up with that I really want to accomplish, you have to be real with yourself in order to be real with everyone else. I mean, I can, we can have fun and like, and just enjoy life, but I don't want it just to be this super hyper, just always fun and no real talk. Some of these vlogs, cause that's just, that's what everyone else does. It's like, they're trying to get attention. I mean, every YouTuber wants to get acknowledged and recognized, of course. This to be real, I want this to be genuine, but also, um, that scares me as well because a lot of people don't talk about real problems because they don't want to get to a point where they don't know an answer to it. That's something that scares me too, but if you never go the distance, then you'll never get to the point where you actually figure out what the answer to a particular problem is. People are scared of the Bible. They, they, they are because I think a lot of people they don't want to have to hear something different than what they believe, what they want to believe, that it's different than the way that they live. <coughs> oh, man, I'm having a hard time. I'm gonna get a drink, glass of water here. I need to shut the door. I'm gonna wear my hat, because I like hats. So, got myself some water. Got myself some yogurt. I think I'm good to go. Yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta stir it up. Hey, hey, hey. Now you just get to watch me eat my yogurt. Yeah. That was good. All right. I've been waiting for, for the moment like this to happen where we just sit down and just talk about life. I think it's a very appropriate um, devotional is I wonder why I can't find a, a clear direction I haven't been seeking God I haven't been seeking God for the answers I have been looking I haven't been knocking on that door continually for him to open it hard to do sometimes there's just a lot I need to work on and finding trying to seek God out is definitely one of the big things that's like one of the basics that I need to work on this vlog is not gonna be like super action packed and like it's just it's gonna be more just real life it's not gonna be something I'm not trying to live more superficially there we go and not try to make my life something that it isn't and that's what this world always does trying to make yourself look good trying to make yourself better than what you really are. Humbling yourself and bring yourself down to a level where you realize that you aren't perfect and then you realize that you don't have it all together. That's where God can help you because he wants to help broken people. Why did why do you see Jesus always like why did he spend time with all the bad and and humanity? Like these prostitutes and tax collectors and and um, people of the day who were not uh, uplifted in society because um, a lot of them knew that that they that what they were doing was wrong and they knew that they needed something different in their life they needed change and um, they knew it wasn't going to come from any person as in like human person but it could only come from something supernatural like as if it was from God perfect that's really what it is we need something that's perfect and that only comes from Jesus he's the one that bridged the gap there's so much that I could talk about but I need to seek God out I need to seek him out I'm gonna go clean up my room
drone. Yes, I do have a drone. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let me tell you, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool thing. The boys got Crocs on. Forgot my phone. Got it. So I actually have to calibrate the compass. Forgot. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. Okay. Got to calibrate the. No, this is better. You got to calibrate the compass. So let me do that right now. Let's get some drone shots, shall we? this on the top of my truck and get a time lapse hopefully of us putting our trash just brush and stuff and we're taking that to the to the dump let's do that right now yes much indeed there it is well this is I think we're gonna have a lot of time lapse photography here yeah Hello, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? Hi. Hello, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Kevin Feige? Just for the, just for the camera. <laughs> Explain where you're going. going. Charleston. We are going to Charleston, South Carolina to see 21 pilots perform a concert alongside John Bellion and yeah, Jude and the Lion. Are you kidding me? No, we are not. We are being 100% serious. It's a big deal. Big deal. Cool. So, so you're going to just, you're going to be driving to Charleston. Sis dad will be driving to Charleston. Okay. And then, um, Praise be. Praise be. Stay, stay, <laughs> no, stay. no. Praise be. Praise <laughs> be. So you're gonna stay at the hotel, and then you're gonna wake up like four in the morning. Yeah, we're probably getting like get line six o'clock. Six, six o'clock now. Well, six thirty. Six o'clock is good. It might as well it just, just keeps getting earlier and earlier. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, three o'clock in the morning. Let's do that. <laughs> There's probably people in line right now. There are. Oh, probably camping there out. probably are. Yeah, there are for the Greensboro concert. There are people who got there two days ahead of time. Really? Uh huh. Oh man. So, so yeah. we'll be in line. Then we'll be. I wish you were coming. It'd be so cool to get some footage of this trip. You know. It would be cool. If I had the money, I would have just brought all you guys. We got Trey doing his dance moves here. So how much equivalates to three seconds in this video of me standing here dancing with the time lapse? Uh, yeah, we got the time lapse with the, with the music. <laughs> how much would that have been in the video? Probably less than a second. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so wait, we're gonna go into your house now? I suppose, yeah. Okay. Gotta get the dad's permission. Yeah. Me. We're not leaving yet. Yeah, come check this place out. It's real chill. And oh. We got in this. <laughs> we're going to sit in this swinging chair. And this kid runs full speed and jumps in it before we do. And we're like, boosh, 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 boosh. And I'm like, dude, you probably didn't even want to sit in this chair until you saw that we were going to sit in it. <laughs> I know. Only the cool kids were going to sit in that chair. And <laughs> goals. <laughs> goals. 
go. We got the John Chong walk going right now. We also got a car coming right now. No, He's I don't. like, because you know what? Feelings did a little thing called World War II. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's, he's so funny. What did he say? I'm, gla I'm glad that he's being honest about stuff. You know, it's, he was like, new John Chon's on the way, and they're gonna at least be mediocre. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I mean, just look at this. Look at this this was like the first thing, thing this first time out. we're witnessing this. It's, it's been four, four years, years, and now I'm discovering what his room looks like. This is not all right. No, no. Is this crazy? Cute, look at this cute dude right here. Right, yeah. Dude, I was Dude, thinking totally the same agree. thing. I was agree. I agree oh, with that. Man. Good statement. So finally, someone said I know. it. No, I mean you're just saying what we're thinking, bud. I'm so. I mean, you're really just speaking on. My oh wow. I mean, I don't. I don't know whose phone that is, so I'm not gonna look at it. But yeah, I don't that's know pretty if you neat. Do that. So, Micah, how you doing? Right. Uh. Yeah, this is so that was so profound. Real deep. Yeah. No, Yeah. See, I've had a day like that too before. I'm glad you can be open though and yeah, talk about it with us. I mean, we're here for you. What are you talking about? We're just having a real deep conversation. Oh, I see. You're talking right. about that. I agree. Oh yeah. He's just so deep and intellectual. <laughs> what are you trying to tell them about? I'm baffled though. This is insane. You what are you doing? Yes. Hey, high five. Mark, what do you got to say? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Funny. This kid that is, is so this, cool. This kid is awesome. Mike, give Hudson a hug. I command you hug. to give hug to Hudson. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know. You gave him a hug? Awesome. No hey. 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 Whoa. When did you get here? <laughs> Dude, your room is so cool. Where's Seth at? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> he's right there. Look, Mikey. He's, he's right there. That's Seth right there. Say Seth. Yeah. Seth. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Micah. Good job. Who's that? It's baby. Bro, bro. Bro, bro. bro, bro. Who's that right there? Sissy. 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 Who's this? Who? Ty. Trey. Ty. <laughs> Oh, dude. I don't know when oh, you man. asked him, he went, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can do this or not. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if he'll recognize you in the video. Oh, yeah. Wait, you're in the video? You watch the video? Can I show you something? See? <laughs> can, I show, can I show you me in the video? No, stop. Okay. Okay. Micah, you look at the camera and smile. Smile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you look at the camera? Smile. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is the best. I know. I would, I would never be Can sad I again. Micah, please. That's cool. Watch this stuff is what I got from Mel. It's a priceless movie poster. There. I see you dressed in fire. I got that from Carowinds. Yeah, yeah. You play music? You play music? Dude, I want to see him dance to trees. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> you changed the video. That's some random person. <laughs> It's like he's aware that he's cute. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, it's like, Micah. I'm cute and I know it. See, this this is the age figures. that I was into Marvel back when, like the the best render of Iron Man or go as far as like these pictures because yeah, yeah, the yeah, movies right. didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. So it's like that was the standard. You know, you know, my ma my name's Trey. You know, just starting cool. oh, starting a new vlog here. You know, it's just it's all good. You know, got my official official Trey Publix. Uh, Name tag here. <laughs> just, just doing. What have you done? You are did identity theft is a serious crime, Hudson. Okay. <laughs> He's even got his what is this poster? This is a cool poster. I am. Don't jump because copyright information. Oh. I don't leave room for.